Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. How not to get ripped off by a doctor. I'm going to be giving you some advice, and yes, I really said that. What a horrible thing to have to talk about. But it does happen out there. Now, I'm not saying by any stretch of the imagination that every doctor out there is trying to rip you off and rip your family off. But it happens enough to be noticeable. And of course it happens more in a profit-driven healthcare system, like the United States, like many other countries around the world which are predominantly private healthcare. That's when it tends to happen. And how awful to come away from an interaction with a physician, someone who supposedly has taken the Hippocratic Oath, and come away with the feeling that, oh, that doctor was just trying to rip me off, they were trying to get money off me. That's absolutely awful, and I hate it when I hear stories like that. A doctor trying to rip people off for thousands of dollars with God knows what, investigations, tests that they don't need, exorbitant fees, I don't know what. But it happens enough. And I've talked before in previous videos about my own personal experiences of healthcare, especially in the United States, thankfully not that many, but the brief interactions I've had where I've got the impression that, oh my goodness, the medical profession is just trying to rip me off for as much money as possible. Seems like a complete scam, this entire system. That's why I avoid it. But in terms of the feeling of being ripped off, it really irks me whenever anyone tells me that they had an interaction and they felt like the doctor was just trying to grab money. And I can think of lots of people who've told me things over the years. One springs to mind, I was at a cocktail party once, and someone was telling me a story about his interaction with an orthopedic surgeon, where he came away just thinking that that orthopedic doctor is just trying to make as much money as possible. I do not trust this doctor by any stretch of the imagination, and he never went back. And I've heard stories from other countries as well, not so many from the United Kingdom, where it's mainly nationalized healthcare. It may not be forever, but it is right now. But my own ethnic background is Indian, and I have lots of relatives in India, lots of cousins, and I've visited India many times, and I've heard so many stories about the horrendous medical interactions over there. Now again, I'm not saying every doctor is like this, but I've heard stories about how people will go to clinics, people have gone to hospitals, and they've come away and even told me that they thought the doctors were just trying to grab as much money as possible, payment in cash. And it's a horrible way for the medical profession to behave or even come across as behaving. So I want to give you five practical tips of how you can avoid being fleeced, being scammed by the medical profession. When you sense that something is up and a doctor is trying to simply grab as much money as possible. Number one, trust your instincts. I cannot overstate this enough. Your gut instincts are often correct. If you come away from an interaction and it just doesn't feel right, you don't have a good feeling in your stomach, and you think a doctor was deliberately trying to order more tests and investigations than was necessary, then you are often right. So that's the first thing I'm going to say. Trust your gut instincts. Number two, do your own research. There's no excuse now in 2023. This has been the case for 20 plus years. We live in an extraordinary time where at the touch of a button, a wealth of information is available to us. Dr. Google. Now there's some doctors out there who make fun of Dr. Google. I've seen many social media posts. You think Dr. Google knows more than my four or five year medical degree and the fact that I wear a bow tie now and go to all these corrupted physician society meetings. How dare you? I hate that attitude. I think Google is fantastic. For goodness sake, we're talking about people's bodies and their health. You should do your own research. I actually like it when patients and families come at me with reams of information, printouts that they found online. Good! You have got all of this information because you care for your body. So you're welcome to ask me any questions you like. Now, of course, everything on Google isn't correct, just like everything a doctor says isn't correct. But I think it's a good thing for people to do their own research. So do as much research as you can so you know what to expect with your particular illness, what tests are indicated, and what treatment usually occurs. Number three, never feel pressured to say yes immediately. Healthcare environments are very hectic and they're frequently very fast-paced and pressurized. But unless it's a life or death situation, 
Please don't feel pressured into saying yes immediately to a bunch of tests or investigations if you think there are important questions to be answered. Obviously, if you trust your doctor and you think everything you're being told is correct, then that is different. But if you think that something is happening way too fast, then put a break on it and say no. Let me think about that and I'll get back to you. I want to just think about whether that test is necessary, I'm going to ask around, etc. Never feel pressured into saying yes immediately for an expensive test or investigation. Your body is too precious and your wallet, to be frank, is precious as well. You should not be needing to spend money that you don't need to spend. And I can give you examples, even this isn't directly related to medical care, but at dentists. Now, I've made videos before and talked about this. I think much of what dentistry does is a money-making scam as well. And I'm always very hesitant. Dentists absolutely hate it when I interact with them. I don't even go to US dentists now, but I can give you an example with x-rays, for example. I was always the one to refuse x-rays. For goodness sake, I've come in with a simple issue. Why are you shoving this x-ray in my face, which doesn't need to be done for what I want, even if I'm a new patient, whatever. Unless there's a reason why you need to do an x-ray, you can't simply do it just because you want to bill the insurance company. That's not a good enough reason to expose me to unnecessary radiation. So I always used to say no to x-rays x-rays unless there was obviously a problem that required an x-ray. That's just one example I'm thinking of where you can feel under pressure to say yes. You don't need to and there's lots of examples like that. Number four, this is very important as well, talk to family and friends. You have people in your life that you can confide in, Ask them about their experiences. Have they had a similar situation before? Did they have similar tests and investigations? Again, gather as much information as you can, and it's always best to gather information from people you trust in your life. Finally, number five, and this is perhaps the most important point of all, get a second opinion. If there's any doubt whatsoever, it's often like night and day. It's like black and white, the opinions that you can get out there. Doctors are very different in how they think about things. If you feel like what you're being told isn't accurate or it involves over-testing or over-investigating something, then say that you want a second opinion and no doctor worth their salt should mind if you want a second opinion. I actually like it. Often when there's a diagnosis which is up in the air or we're not sure, I tell my patients, feel free to ask somebody else. It's okay. Everybody's got a second opinion. I'm not the least bit offended by this. And if your doctor is so emotionally immature and childish that they get all offended and take it personally, then they are not worth their salt. Let me tell you that. So those are five points then that I would really like you to remember because it's so important to trust your doctor. It is crucially important to trust that whatever they're ordering, tests, blood tests, investigations, procedures, whatever it is, is actually necessary. So remember those five points because you've only got one body. It is your temple, it is your treasure, and of course you value your money as well. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are also down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. Have a fantastic weekend everyone and we will talk again very soon.